On this Palm Sunday, we are filled with hope as we continue to see reports in our community and across our country as we fight the coronavirus pandemic. I'm encouraged that the loss of life is continuing to decrease. Hospitalizations are coming down. Vaccination numbers are continuing to go up. That's great news. Even better news is beginning tomorrow, all Oklahomans 16 and older will be eligible for the vaccine. You know, for the last year, we've spent so much of our attention just focused on our city, on our loved ones, on our country. But Disciples for Water, our ministry to drill freshwater wells in the Congo has been staying in communication with our friends and our mission partners. We all remember that six years ago, we trained a team to drill freshwater wells. We know and we've celebrated that they have drilled 75 wells that have enabled even children to pump fresh water for their families. But what I learned this week is that our drilling team and some of our church partners have been deployed to combat a different problem. Our partners have been provided with sanitation stations, soap, and training to do this very same thing. Wherever they're deployed, this same drill team, they go drill wells, and they're trained to train others, local people, on the best practices to prevent the spread of Ebola. So they create hand-washing stations. Sometimes they have to hang a jug and poke holes in it because it's the best that they can do. It's not ideal, but it's a massive improvement. Sometimes you just do what you've got to do but in a country that doesn't have sewers or running water, this is a life-saving device. Beginning today, we're collecting a special offering to support the mission of Disciples for Water and the life-saving measures they are making possible in the Congo. And this is going to continue to enable them to be superheroes, providing access to clean water all while stamping out pandemics. Pandemics. 